Hey guys, Colin Vanderwood back again. I just thought this time in this video I would discuss nutrition because I get asked about it quite often. I mean, I was sitting in the city yesterday at a table and this lady came up and we got talking and, you know, everybody wants to know how to lose weight, how to get a better body, um, how to get happier. And if you lose weight and get a body, get a better body, you do become happier. I can tell you that from experience. I'm here to tell you nutrition is an exact science. So if you apply the principles, you will reap the results, guaranteed. Uh, but as for dieting and following certain diets, um, I don't really believe in that. I believe certain diets are basically bullshit. Um, you've got to nourish the body and, you know, uh, Mediterranean diet is probably fairly close to a decent thing, but all in all, you just got to find what works for you, but apply the basic principles of a healthy, nutritious, wholesome diet. Um, yeah, 80% um, nutrition, 20% exercise, I think they throw around. I did not want to believe that. I honestly did not want to believe that in the in the beginning. And I had a tough time even dealing with that. But to prove it, um, you know, many years ago, um, I got an exercise bike. And I sweated my ass off or my glutes off on that bike for no real benefit. Why? Because I was drinking two litres of coke a day. <laughs> so, um, basically, not a good thing. Okay, so, um, you know, you have to learn a lot about nutrition. And a lot of calories come from what people drink. You know, if people are drinking coke or soda, um, you're basically pumping your body full of junk and... You know, I, I always used to say, I will never drink water. I hate the taste of water. Water's bland, water's crap, I can't drink it. <laughs> Different story now. Um, and a lot of people say, but I tried and I failed. Well, try again, because if you try again with the right information, you will not fail. Um... And uh, books that have helped me. Ah, this first one is um, James Diagon, Clean and Lean Warrior. This guy is a legend. Uh, former Aussie, living in London now. Um, celebrity trainer to the stars. Um, that book gave me the blueprint on everything I needed to know. Uh, the guy is a bloody hero, I tell you. I know him on, tr on Twitter and he's just amazing. He also put out this book because he does books for females as well. Now note the female on the cover. I believe that is his wife. Now, the story goes people mistake her for a supermodel. He explains she's not a supermodel. She's just your ordinary woman that when they met she had belly issues and um you know, so, wow. But anyway, um, she's short, apparently. She's not a tall, super model, elegant model woman, but she looks good, and if you apply nutrition, you love the food, and the food loves you back, and you love nutrition, it rewards you. You know, you end up like um, Miranda Kerr, like healthy, glowing skin, vibrant, um... You know, you eat that kind of food and it, on the inside, it starts to show on the outside. And I really mean that. Um, I'll put up a shot later of some before and after, uh, a before and after comparison shot of my face when I was sick and filling myself full of toxic shit. And then a few months later, the comparison in the same picture of when I got healthy and ate clean and lean and nutritious, uh, good nutrition. It's quite a powerful shot. I'll also put up some progress shots of um, how I went with the James Diagon um, application. Um, anyway, what else was I going to go on about? Ah, 
I spoke help me in the gym and with strength nutrition muscle chow by Greg Avedon coolest guy I've ever met in the world of strength training and um, physique people that guy on Twitter is a hero he's a family man um, he's 49 now and I posted a picture of him recently that he put up of himself holidaying and ah oh, beautiful awesome picture 49, the guy's in terrific shape. Um, yeah, that book has some really powerful, like, really good advice on everything from application of supplements, um, timing of uh, meals, and everything you need to know. If you're a guy into strength training or, you know, want to build muscle, that book's just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I found it at the library and then I just had to get on Amazon and buy a copy and never looked back. The guy's a damn legend, um, you know. Anyway, uh, what else was I going to say? Um, oh, um, yep, yeah, so you got to apply the principles of nutrition. Now, that can mean dedication. Um, you know, if your goal is six-pack abs, then, you know, you got to apply strict nutrition. Like, abs are made in the kitchen, not from crunches and sit-ups. A lot of guys say to me, how do you get abs? Like, can I do sit-ups and crunches and get those abs? Sorry to tell you, no. No way. You can do crunches and sit-ups till the cows come home. You lit literally do... 500 sit-ups and crunches a day and you if you've got fat covering those abs you will not get abs you will you have to lose the fat you have to burn the fat now that can involve a combination of nutrition exercise high intensity cardio helps but only when you work your way into it so if you're at an unfit level you know build your fitness strength up before you get that and most importantly, uh, consult your doctor. Get an ECG done on your heart and make sure you um, consult with them before jumping into any exercise program and, you know, strength training, combo, high intensity cardio, nutrition, the three of those elements together really pack a powerful punch. You can go from belly fat to abs in a short amount of time if you want to dedicate yourself that hard to it. But if you just want a flat tummy or just want to look like... My goal in the beginning was Jello Biafra of the Dead Kennedys. I just wanted a flat stomach like him. Well, when he, in his heyday, I must add. <laughs> uh, in his good days. He doesn't look like that now. But he was the only guy in punk that could take his shirt off and look pretty damn good. Not many punk guys in the 70s and 80s could do that. Anyway, um, yeah, I got into that and I got the flat stomach pretty quickly with James Diagon, but then it just went deeper and I thought, nah, I'm not going to stop at that. I've got new goals and I want abs, I want this, I want that. So it just went further and further and the strength training blew up and, you know, here I am. But anyway, that summarizes it for me. I just wanted to let you guys know a little bit of information. And if you have any questions, um, anything at all, hit me up anytime. I'll try and reply to anyone and everyone when I can because I love to try and help people, inspire people, motivate people and teach them what I've learned and teach them how to change their lives for the better. So just be willing to understand that change is possible. Change is good. Change is beneficial. Change can literally create a world you never dreamed was possible it will rock your world if you really want it if you want to sit back and be comfortable and think no you know tomorrow maybe maybe next month maybe one day or you make excuses ah oh, but but this but that um you know think about what you want to do and if you want to do something with your life, make the decision. Because I'm telling you now, it can be the best thing you've ever done in your life. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And yeah, the haircut, if you look at the last video, <laughs> I 
I got the haircut yesterday and um, a female joke that I have the shark. Well, I don't have the shark at the moment. It's only like a tuna fin. So, but as with everything in life, growth, it will grow back. And I'll get that shark fin happening again. But for now, it's just a tiny little tuna fish and, you know, but that's okay. Anyway, love you guys heaps. Thanks for watching. Bye. So here are some links to uh, my blog and my social media. Here are some references and links to Greg Avedon and James Digan, Bodyism, gregavedon.com. Here is the facial picture I told you about. Quite remarkable. Really stunning turnaround, I tell you. And here are the belly pics in the early days. This was the awful beginning. And here are the progress shots over a, oh, 10 months. It's probably 12 months now. Lots of stuff here. Um, you know. Arm shots, leg shots, bicep shots. And lastly, I'll leave you with some quotations that I love and live by. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Share it and, and stick around for the final few minutes. My personal dedication to a legend, Greg Pleat, and some truly awesome motivational audio for you. is a dream killer but most people you know what they do most people go through life quietly and safely tiptoeing to an early grade we've been holding back we have ideas that we don't act on things we want to do we're afraid to take chances see a lot of people say no to things and they don't even know what they're saying no to don't allow but to keep you in the corner there are a lot of people who say, but I tried once or twice and it didn't work out. And so they use that as an excuse not to ever come out again. It's not the title that makes you, it's not the success that makes you. The character defines the success, defines the theme, and it starts right there. Championships aren't won in the theater or the arena. They're won in the thousands of hours in the training room, in the labs, in the 5 a.m. runs, and it's rainy when everyone else is sleeping. That's when it's won. The heart of a champion is a light switch that's always on. It doesn't go on and off when someone's watching. It's constant. It's how you look at something. If your name's attached to it, then you do it right. The best of your ability every single time. You only live once, but if you work it right, once is enough, my friends.